the vengeance is not just my type of thing. I'm praying for the killer. With the body on the way back to Senegal, the soft-spoken father of the Waltham teen murdered last week isn't seeking revenge against the person who stabbed his son to death. Whoever did it, wherever you are, well, think about what you've done. He was our only son. Don't do it again because it's so much pain. On Wednesday, a memorial service was held for 18-year-old El Haji Malik Ndiaye in Dorchester. His friends called him Malik. I have a great loss, but besides the loss, I'm happy because of the support I have. Like us Africans, whenever we lose somebody, we always you know, come together to support each other, which is very, very, instrument, very instrumental, especially to, for the grieving family to have that closure and to know that they still have people love them, although they have lost somebody. The dead teen's mother has traveled back to Senegal as his father Mamadou tries to piece together how he lost his only child on his the quiet college, campus of Regis Catholic College in West End. In around 8, he, he left the house and asked, asking her for, uh, I okay to go for a party. Early last Friday morning, a friend of Malik's notified Mamadou that his son had been stabbed. Away from home, Malik was a troubled teen, in with the wrong crowd. He was arrested last summer after an altercation with staff at this Moody Street restaurant and admitted to stealing money from a tip jar in court. He dropped out of Waltham High School in grade 10. sure your parents are close to you. That's, that's the message I have. I'm not angry for the killer. I'm angry for the loss. The family is from the predominantly Muslim nation of Senegal on the west coast of Africa, where the official language is French. Mamadou came 15 years ago, joined by his wife and son five years ago. Malik was 13 when he moved to the United States. Mamadou said he was a stern father. Around their Crescent Street home, his son was respectful but distant. I really don't, don't know his personality outside the house. I know he's shy around the house. He respected me. He really loved me. Malik's troubled life and tragic death haven't changed his father's opinion of his adopted homeland. I became an American citizen like eight years ago, and I think it's the, great, the best country in the world, and I love it. I still love it, even with my loss, I still love the country. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.